This is disgustingly cool. It just keeps going. Wow. Wow! Well, this is going to be the coolest trend on Instagram for 2020. We should probably figure out how to do this for ourselves. What's up, everybody? My name is Sawyer Hartman, and today we are going to be taking a look at how to create these incredibly cool seamless carousel posts for Instagram. First off, for anyone who's confused, these are actually individual photos that when uploaded give the appearance of being one huge seamless image. Now this style of editing not only opens tons of doors creatively and for your storytelling, but let's be honest, it looks freaking dope as well. And that is very, very important when it comes to Instagram. So what's up, how do we make them? Well, there's actually two ways. The first way to create one of these would be to build it from scratch using a desktop computer, a subscription to Adobe Photoshop, and roughly one to four hours of your time. Honestly, it is a massive pain in the ass and it is not the technique we will be using to create these today. So for today's tips and tricks, I'm going to be using the app Film Frames where you can create seamless carousel posts in literally less than 10 seconds. Now, the actual process of building these in the app is really straightforward. You simply choose the template that you want to use, select the photos that you would like to appear in it, and then you literally just resize them and you're done. Now, here's where the fun begins. Yes, the seamless carousel posts are really cool new technology, but as with any new creative outlet, it really only matters what you do with it. Right off the bat, one of the most useful uses for these seamless carousel posts is to create an aesthetic across your content. So for the first demonstration, we have Oliver. I'm literally just, I'm gonna keep switching some photos around until it looks just the way I want. But here, what I've done is I've imported photos that are all pretty much in the exact same color palette. I keep swapping my images around to experiment with different placements to see how the images look in different parts of the frame. But here's what's important. My first image is an entire picture so that on my Instagram feed, it won't look weird at all people won't even be able to tell. Notice that all of the images I'm importing into this frame were either shot in the same location or seem to be shot on the same day with the same camera. This is going to be one of the easiest tricks to curating an aesthetic for your Instagram. If you look at the final product, you'll notice none of the photos really look out of place. This is exactly what you wanted to do. If anything looks out of place, go ahead and switch it around or replace it with another photo and try again. The second tip that we're gonna talk about is actually the exact opposite of the first tip. This is contrast of colors. Now the process is the same. Just choose the frame that you wanna use, but this time when you go looking for images, you wanna look for images that have different colors. To really give you a strong example of opposite colors, I'm going to choose to use images from sunset and then also images from underwater. This way I have a bright orange and then also that very nice neutral blue. By carefully choosing photographs that contain different complementary colors, when you put them together, it can really create something that looks just incredible. Especially when using some of those seamless collage frames, this method can look incredible because the images are literally pushed up next to each other. The third tip and technique is my favorite reason to use seamless carousel frames, and that is to enhance my storytelling. Now, one of the coolest ways that I've personally seen people use these carousel posts is to go shoot for an entire day or to go on an entire trip and then upload your photos in chronological order. We're actually even trying to design some of these frames for the future that look like timelines because the idea of being able to tell your story in chronological order is so cool if you can do it properly through photographs. The fourth carousel post tip is to use the frame in your actual photography. Take a look at this frame right here. Notice this black border? Well, let's find some photographs that actually go to black on the edge. This way, when we import these images, the photo actually starts to blend into the frame and it becomes even more seamless. Now this might just have to be something that you play with and experiment with on your own, but as you get better and as you get more comfortable, start looking at your frames beforehand so that if there's any cool opportunities to take photos to incorporate into the frame, you're already thinking that way. Use these frames as creative guides to inspire you, not just as tools to use with the images you've already captured. The next thing we'll talk about isn't even really a tip, it's just start using landscapes again. Photography 
is a landscape sport. You hold the camera sideways, you take a picture. The only reason we're all shooting portrait now is because of the iPhone trying to maximize screen size. Well, what you can do is this. You could go to the seamless pack and grab the landscape seamless, which splits images into two so it looks like this, and then take the important part of your image and stick it right in the middle so that people swipe back and forth. It not only just looks cool, but it gets people's fingers on your photographs and gets people interacting with your content. There's so many benefits to this technique, it's not even funny. Now that pretty much covers all of the tips and tricks of at least how I personally utilize these seamless carousel posts, but there is one other thing that I've seen done that I have not done myself that I wanna try in this video. What we're gonna do is export any film frame we want. I'm gonna choose this simple one of my camera. So literally all I'm gonna do is drop one of those photos into Procreate and just start drawing little arrows and writing what everything is because I think it looks really cool. And then I'll go to the next image and I will do the exact same. I'll try to make sure that none are overlapping so there's no opportunity for it to not be lined up. And now that I've put my own little creative twist on my already creative content, I would say that I am 100% ready to post to Instagram and ready to stop people scrolling in their feeds and make them like my content. And well, that pretty much wraps it up for me. If you want to check out the app film frames that we've been using this entire video, it will be in the top line of the description. I know the team really, really appreciates it because that team is me and my buddy DJ and our friend Tim. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you for believing us. And we really, really hope you enjoy it. It's taken a year of our life and more money than I would ever care to admit. I really, really, really hope you enjoy it. And I promise I'll work on posting more videos. It's just, I, I have a bad anxiety. And this whole virus thing, it's just like, you know? You know, and if you happen to hear of someone trying to figure out how to make these, send them our way. Tell them about the video or the app, whichever one it is, I don't care. I appreciate you. And as always, before you go, remember, stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop creating. I just started mowing the lawn. That is good timing. Download film frames, I love you, bye. <laughs>